Welcome to SimpleSoft Simulator Tutorials. In this short tutorial, we'll show you how to quickly simulate 10,000 devices supporting SNMP by using myhub.var data file that we have learned from a real Cisco hub in an earlier tutorial on recording data from a real device. SimpleAgent Pro has a notion of workspaces to allow you to keep your simulation test setup separate from one another. So we will first create a new workspace called 10K. We will also select the use separate directories and copy option so that the map and the device files that are created in the projects directory are all self-contained. Next, we are going to add, uh, create a new map to this workspace. Map is simply a container of devices and we'll just since it's a placeholder map we're just going to call give it a name like temp now let's add a device to this map let's give it an IP address of 10.1.1.1 and this is going to be the starting address for a range of IPs for all the 10k devices and in the SNMP tab we can specify where we specify the SNMP properties we will select MIP2.CMF from the original CMF directory as the compiled MIP file and myhub.var from the original var directory as the SNMP variable file. And now that the SNMP properties are set, we can click on create and close. Once this device is added, we can simply clone this device 9,999 times. 999. And we will also tell Simple Agent Pro to optimize after cloning and create maps for us with the name test10k as the map prefix and with each map having about 100 devices. So let's click on create. The GUI will start cloning the devices and create 100 maps with each map having 100 devices to have a sum total of 10,000 devices. After the cloning is completed, as you can see, we now have 100 maps, test 10k underscore one, all the way till test 10k underscore 100, and each map has 100 devices, 10.1.1.1 till all the way till 10.1.100, test 10k underscore two starts with 101 through 200, and test three, uh, uh, test 10k underscore three map has IP addresses of 254, and after which it has the next subnet of 10.1.2.1 and it is skipping 255 and dot zero. And that's how it will create, increment the IPs to create 10,000 devices. Now we can simply go to the toolbar and select start all maps to start these 100 maps. And the GUI will go through and sequentially start one map after another. What is happening underneath is that the GUI is starting an SA thread process, one for each map, and this SA thread process reads the map file and then adds the 100 IPs to the underlying TCP IP stack and then starts 100 threads. Each thread binds to port 161 of the associated IP address and listens for incoming requests. When the requests come in, the thread gets activated and it parses the request and looks up the variable information from the myhub.var file and generates a response. So maps are slowly getting started now.
now that all the maps have started as you can see the first map got started at 9:17 and the last map was about 9:20 so it about in the about 3 to 4 minutes we have been able to start all the 100 maps each with 100 devices to have a total of 10000 devices uh, simulated and up and running now you can go to query any of the maps and you know select one of the devices and do browse map and get some management information make some snmp queries to it so as you can see each of those devices are responding to snmp queries we hope you found this tutorial useful if you have any additional questions please do not hesitate to contact us at support@simplesoft.com and we would be happy to assist you thank you